Hello and welcome back. Hello and welcome back to the fifth video on making PowerPoints in Office 2008. This video will focus on making custom animations for our text and images. So let's begin. Once I select my PowerPoint and make it active, I need a menu to add these animations. So the fastest and easiest way is to go to Toolbox from your standard toolbar. It brings up a submenu called the Formatting Palette. And there's many options along this formatting palette. We're going to go to the third option with the little star that shows movement. That is for custom animations. And I've already selected my word cloud. So let's go in and add an entrance effect. If I click here, I have a drop down menu for effects appear, fade, etc. Now, when you choose one, the, the name gives you an idea of how they work. So let's add fly in and you can get a little preview of how it works. You can see that there are options below that it, on start it flies in, comes in from the bottom, and here's the speed. So let's play around with that. Let's make it medium, slow it down a little. We can choose to have it fly from left to right, top to bottom. Let's do from the left just to play around. And let's have it start on the click. And let's hit play. And now we see if I like it, I uh, will then simply select my next slide if you follow my pointer. And let's see, I'm just going to use, for the sake of this, the title. So I've selected my title. I'm going to go to the next one, which is Emphasis. Let's see how that looks again. We have a drop down menu. Let's try brush on color. You can see how that worked. If I don't like it, or if there's things I want to change, there are options down here. Let's use black over the orange. If I don't like that, play around a little more, play with the speed. And again, you can hit play. See how you like it. There we go, that one looks pretty good. And now let's go to the third slide, play with some more animations. Go back to my custom animation bar. Remember, you have to select something or else these star options for animations won't come up. So let's take my steak y'all title. Go to the third choice, which is an exit effect. Let's try descend. And you can see how that worked on click. There's not a lot of properties, but there is speeds. Let's slow it down. Hit play. And we see how that works. Now that would probably look better on a picture of steak, which I would add if this was a finished presentation. Go to slide four. Make sure I select something. This time let's play with the image. I'll select the image, and here we have animation path. This one tends to be most fun. You choose if you want your image or text to move in a straight line, curve, freeform, etc. I kind of like scribble. So what I do is select my image, give it a starting point. I can make it crazy as I want, give it an ending point, and you can see how it moved. Now, I anchored the object. The speed was medium. Let's slow it down a little. And in a slideshow, you want to be careful not to overwhelm the audience to cover your text with the image. But since this is an introductory, let's have some fun with it and see how it looks. Okay. So there you have adding some effects, some animations to your slideshow. Again, the best way to learn is to play around with it. Anytime you add an effect or something you don't like, the best way to undo that is simply press edit and undo and the computer will undo for you. So as soon as you make a mistake, undo it, try again and have fun with it. Remember if you do things you do like as you go, save often. Use your save option, third icon on your standard toolbar. Best option for animating things in your slideshow is by animating the body of text. So here I selected uh, my bullet points and I go over to my formatting palette switch to my animations and let's do uh, entrance effect again let's use rise up and you can see on each click that each bullet point will rise up so you, as you're presenting you can uh, emphasize which part you're speaking of by animating each and every bullet point. So that's another option for you as you create your shows. 
Um, tune in next time for another video on PowerPoint Office 2008. Thank you.